Alright, so hello everyone and welcome to another video from the channel Semigravity Tracks. Today it's part 3 of my redstone door flexing because I already did the 7x7 and uh, all in between. So today I'm going to be continuing the series with my more recent redstone doors. For example, this one, which uh, I missed the button, which is a very fast, very seamless, very beautiful 4x4. Um, yeah, the only thing that uh, kind of sucks is the wiring, because, uh, yep, I kind of, I am kind of bad at wiring, if you didn't notice. I am kind of bad at wiring, look at how big these lines are. I, I use a signal elevator, what is this? But I absolutely don't care, I absolutely don't care, you know why? You know why? Because this door looks cool. And I'm bad at wiring anyways, I'm not even gonna try to come back to this. Alright, let's continue with the doors. Okay, so the next one is a 4x4 uh, falling block door, which uses concrete powder, which is a falling block. It falls. Okay, uh, so here's the door. <laughs> You can see that it all drops down into the floor, you can walk through, it's nice and smooth, nice and seamless, and then you push this again, and it kind of just extends. And, uh, you know, I had to use quadruple piston extenders for this. This is a really compact design, which is also not mine. I literally never have my own piston extenders. Um, I mean, except for one, maybe. But yeah, this is... Uh, a very cool quad piston extender because it's expandable up to 15 blocks and it's really compact so yeah that's uh, a door that's definitely a door and over here we have the better bigger stronger version which is a 5x5 five five. so you flick the lever and you can see that stuff begins to fall and then there is no more door out of face, but it's like when we flip this lever again, boom, magic, uh, the door just reappeared, what happened here? Well, we have to go look down here, which you can see that this is not a small redstone contraption. Yeah, it's because I used a 5 block piston extender, also not my own, but this one is one block wide and it's stackable which means that it's incredibly epic. You can see that everything just looks identical, all the repeater timings have to be sp very specific. Uh, but, 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 it's really cool. Really tiny for what it does, because it's still a 5 of center, after all. Alright, next door. So this next door is a triangular piston door, which is a triangle, it's uh, 9 blocks wide, 5 blocks tall. Well, the width wasn't really actually a problem. The height was, uh, you can see that I had to triple this and extend the stuff. Boom! And it all just pops back into place, so it looks really like Illuminati, I know. So, over here there's single piston extenders, double piston extenders for the walls, there's a lot of stuff underneath for the floor, double piston extenders, single piston extenders, uh, and the ceiling has a double piston extender, a single piston extender, and a triple piston extender. I don't know how many times will I see piston extender in this video. But this design is actually pretty cool because it is very beautiful when it's opened. Uh, because it, uh, it's completely seamless, you don't even see any immovable objects, no exposed line blocks, no gaps, no nothing next door. This door is a 6x6 cave door, the thing which I had in my previous videos, uh, which I thought it was a 6x6 cave door. I actually had the wrong pattern for it, because this is what I built for the corners, even though you're supposed to do it like this for it to actually count as a cave door. You can see that it opens, and uh, this one is actually something I'm very proud of because it's so cool, 
so epic looking, so symmetrical, just look at this, it's so beautiful. And uh, over here there are some exposed observers, but I absolutely don't care, because it's still really beautiful, and I absolutely love it. I'm going to explain to you what the redstone does. Okay, so over here it's a triple piston extender to get the top out of the way, and then there's two triple piston extenders down here to get the bottom of the middle out of the way. This is basically the top of the middle, but this also attracts the double pistons, and uh, for it to be seamless, what I did is uh, as it gets retracted, I activated these pistons briefly to uh, put the blocks instead of here to uh, here for it to be actually seamless with the wall. We might be able to see it like this. You can see that the blocks kind of just like uh, went further deep into the wall, but then they got extended back. That's all that uh, I also use on the horizontal parts because I also use slime blocks there. Over here, there's no slime blocks. The obsidian is just a troll obsidian that you don't need obsidian in there. You just need Diggy's observers, and that's it. That's the 6x6 six six next door. Alright, so this is not really a door, but it's still really cool because uh, it's basically blinds in Minecraft. You can see. Everything changes from wall to window when you want it to. So actually, this is very interesting because you can see that over here it does the quadruple extension, but then the pistons stay like this, which is not really something ideal, uh, because you cannot really re retract with this setup. I mean, if you were really good you could, but I'm not really good, so what I do as I push this button, when I replace it with glass, you can see that this gets funky, but it, uh, it pushes these back into normal positions. You can see that they just kind of get back to normal. And guys, this is a continuation to my Vault Door series, yay! This one is a double-sided cave door. Boom, look at this, 5x5 double-sided cave door, you can see that it's really cool, really seamless, really nothing to worry about, and then when we push this button, we can see that it looks the same from the other side, it just closes, and then over here is the redstone, which, I mean, it's kind of just, I just copied the piston layout from this side to here, to make it work, uh, you can see that there is a lot of doubles, all over the place, one triple extender, two doubles next to it, and two doubles over here as well, there are two doubles on the floor, and everything else is just done with single piston extenders, and I'm stuck in the redstone, where, where am I, okay, and uh, yeah, that's basically it, it's a real quick explanation of a cave door, let's continue. Alright, so I actually planned it to show this in my previous video, it's a 3x3, which I really wanted to show you guys in my first part of the Redstone Door Flexing, but it broke for some reason, but I fixed it. I fixed it, now it works. It's a 3x3 that retracts completely into the wall, and then the floor just kind of comes in like this, because when we extend this, you can see that the floor just gets pushed out of the way. We don't want that to happen, so what we do is we retract the door and we extend the floor from the side using a triple piston extender right here and uh, why do we need to use a triple? well it's because this retracts it three blocks to the back so then we need to put it three blocks to the front and this is also a wall of triple piston extenders that controls the main door itself next door let's go alright guys this is something I'm very proud of because it's my own piston door design because you can see that this is not really something normally we would normally see. I call it the impossible door. And why, you may ask? Well, it's because if you wanted to, let's say, retract this block into the ceiling, yeah, you would say that, yeah, easy double piston extender, right? 
wrong because you would have to have a visible piston here when it's extended, which is not really something you want. You want the hallway to be oh, nice and sporty, which means that all of the extenders have to be behind the blocks. So I actually have to use a triple extender as well. This is the block which gets triple extended. This gets double tracked into the wall. And uh, yeah, it's kind of complicated. The bottom is completely just sealed in with observers. It's getting a nice time in Minecraft. So day, okay. And then, uh, yeah, uh, into the ceiling, I actually only retracted four blocks into the walls. Uh, there's quite a bit that went into the walls, but it mostly went into the floor because the floor is the most complicated part. It's a very cool, very fun design. But even if I tried to go for the 5x5, five five, it just didn't work because this is the impossible door, you just cannot make it really big, it's a very hard to design such a door like this. Next door! Alright, so this is a decently fast 3x3 three three cave door, which I made with uh, my own double piston extender for once. Yes, this is my own design over here, right here. This is it. It's two, it's 240 logic, basically, and I did it to be lever input, I mean permanent holes, and seamless with the wall. That's it. This is the door. Yo, it looks so cool, so epic. Subscribe, please. You have to subscribe. And this is the last door, you can see that it is a 2 by one It is really epic, but oh no, it's an iron door, I cannot get through it. Well, what do I do? Oh my god, oh look at this! Here is a very cool, obvious button over here that I think that I should stand on this block and press the button. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Oh no, what is happening? Oh no, wait, oh, I'm on the other side of the door, I did it! I am now on the other side. What a magical trick. Okay, I know I was really I was really weird. <laughs> and that sequence of words, but I kind of just I kind of just finished the speech somehow. And I'm just going to explain the magic to you guys real quick. So, what happens is uh, oh oh god. Oh, where am I? Okay. So what happens is a flush trapdoor will open and uh, it's this circuit right here, you will fall down and you will stand on this block. From there, uh, this slime block will shoot you to this slime block and uh, there is also another door that has to be opened. It's basically the same circuit like this one. And then when it's opened, you uh, get launched by the slime block up into the air and, and then the door closes before you can fall to the ground. So that's basically the entire sequence of events. Oh my god, wait, I forgot to press the button. What just happened? Okay, now it works. You can see that it's pretty quick. It's pretty quick, it's pretty cool, and it's basically a magic trick, but you know, I mean, yeah, the, the easier way to get through would basically just be to do this, and then yeah, no, you'll, you'll get through, and that's it, so, yeah, subscribe to me because I have the epic uh, door, I don't know, okay, bye.